Hello friends, welcome to the soccer. My name is Sidalali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news and the life you are. In today's edition, we're going to talk about Ghanaian players and their performance over the weekend. We're going to talk about Enes Nyama, we'll talk about Thomas Party, we'll talk about Fatal Shaku, Inaki Williams who has provided an assist, we'll talk about all other Ghanaian players that have played in Europe from English Premier League Championship, Syria A, everything that you need to know about Ghanaian players, those that have scored, those that didn't score, and how they all performed. We're going to discuss that right here. If it's your first time as usual, hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together. I would always much time. Let's get straight into today's video. Well, so we're going to start from England, obviously, and we'll start from the championship where currently two Ghanaians are playing the championship and we are going to talk about them, those that are playing the Black Stars before, talking about uh, Kamadi Suleimana and then Fatah Shaku. Suleimana is with Sarampton. He played and provided an assist in their game. That has been his assist, the third assist, I believe, in the championship, but he's yet to recall the goal. Kamadi played on the left side of Sarampton. Katlin provided a brilliant assist. He's a young man that gave his fit his team and he provides a lot of good results to his team. Unfortunately, he was not part of his team, team that he called, but Obviously, we are expecting <clears throat> him to have a good time and possibly come back into the national team. If he's having a consistent form, he has a place in the in the national team. And also important because Ghana is going to the African Cup of Nations. So we need all our players to play on high form. So Kamadini provided an assist in his size uh, game. Yeah, he, he played uh, 70 minutes and had a total rating of... Uh, he played uh, 76 minutes and had a total rating of 7.8, which is very good for him as a player. He provided an assist, as I said, 35 touches and five boxes, uh, five touches in the opponent's half, which is pretty much brilliant for him. Another Ghanaian that is in the championship is uh, Fatal Ishahaku, who recently got his first game or first goal. So Saramton lies fourth on the league table with 24 points. But Leicester City live first on the league table with 39 points. The rate at which they are performing, going and away home and away and winning games is a brilliant one. They played, a, they played away from home and won by two goals to one. That is good because they beat the uh, Queen's Park Rangers. Ishaku has been a starter in the game, played 83 minutes in that game, had a yellow card, had a rating of 7.0. But not a game that he provided an assist or scored, but very competitive in that game. Ishaku had a total shot of well, two, but only one was on target. Uh, he had some of his shots also blocked. He had 10 touches in the box, but a, a total touch of 48, which is good for the young man. He's, he, he has an he had a quick authentication with one of Crystal Palace players and he, he went ahead to post it on his shoulder, uh, social media. But one thing is that he also went ahead to watch uh, support Mohamed Kudus in the English Premier League, but pretty much it didn't go well. Since we are in the English Premier League, let's talk about Mohamed Kudus. So Kudus was in action for his side West Ham. His first start, we're, we're hoping that it's going to be a good start for him, but Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. His side uh, lost their game. Kudus, I think it was not only Kudus, but the entire West Ham team on that day was pretty much not good. They lost to Everton by one goal to zero. Pretty much everybody in that Everton team was not good enough. They all provided an average of six, six thereabouts. Kudus' performance was like 5.8. Not a good game. You know? like he had basically had a moment with big four two as well. You know, as I told you earlier on that the English Premier League is tough. It's, it's, it's going to be tough for every player that walks in. So, 
So yeah, for fans, we expect our players, like we expect our players to always start play our coach playing, 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 but it's up to the coach to know who to play and who not to play. And sometimes we have to leave them to do their job. I'm not saying Kudu is not a good player, obviously a super talent, but we all go into games and have bad day at the office. So Kudu was not a great day for him, but it happens, you know. He played the entire 90 minutes. He had a total accurate pass of 43 out of 47, which was good. He was not, he was not bad, you know. He had 75 touches, six only six were in the box. And had four dribbles out of six attempts. Like he was not bad. Like honestly, he was not pretty much bad. But the entire West Ham team was didn't play to their maximum best. You know, maybe they were tired from that uh, Europa League game, which happens because the Europa League games makes a lot of teams pretty much tired. Let's talk about another Ghanaian in the English Premier League, and that is going to be Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew scored his first goal this season. Against Tottenham Hotspur, for the brilliant volley, uh, dropped the ball brilliantly, and bah, Jordan is a great player. I've said this on this channel. I won't be surprised if Jordan continues staying at Crystal Palace. He may one day captain that team. The kind of football that Jordan is playing for Crystal Palace is exceptional. He played, but unfortunately, his side lost to Tottenham. The kind of football Tottenham is playing is yes. exceptional. So it's not surprised that his side lost. Another Ghanaian was on target again, which is. Uh, Antoine Semenyo. Semenyo was on target. Uh, a brilliant player. It's good to see him score goals, you know. So Antoine Semenyo was on target again. Scored his second goal for Bournemouth in their game when they won by two goals to one against Bailey. Bournemouth are not well placed, so they need every win. And the truth about Semenyo is he had he scored similar goals. His goals are he pressed the opponent, wins the ball, and makes an and initiate an attack out of that. He has scored a goal. He has helped Ghana to score two goals out of that. So it's basically his attribute, like the kind of player that presses opponents, forces them to make errors. That's what they say, force them to, to, to play nonsense kind of player. Yeah, he forces you to make errors and he pounce on it and make and take advantage of it. So that's it. He also scored a goal. Party unfortunately was not part of Arsenal's team due to an injury that they've talked about. It's pretty much worrying that. He's always injured and this is, is a problem, you know, it's a problem. But he was also seen going to support uh, Stoneboy in his concerts at England, in England, which is good. Like, yeah, supporting Ghanaian players. Let's go to Syria R and see something. Syria so, yeah, Ibrahim Suleiman, who plays for Cagliari, were, was on the bench, he didn't play any game. Let's go to the French Syria R, where two Ghanaians are. Flying high, like basically three Ghanaians. Uh, Ali Dusedu, Ali Dusedu committed a penalty, played at the centre back, but committed a penalty. Luckily for him, his side, uh, the team missed the penalty, so he was saved. But the team lost 1 0 to Nice in that game. They lost, which is quite unfortunate. And then uh, Salis Abdul Samet also was part of his team when they managed to win by four goals to zero. That was an exceptional win for him. Salis has been very consistent for his side. He's then Ghanaian that you expect him to do well. And he's a special talent, a special breed. So he's also featured for his team and they managed to win by four goals to zero. And as Nyama and Cillian couldn't play their game, and I'm sure you have seen it that their game against Marcel was postponed because fans started attacking the team and that Leon head coach ended up hurting badly. And the game couldn't continue. In Belgium, Kamad Soa. Let's go to the Belgium league and talk about two Ghanaians that played in there. Kamad Soa uh, played for his side, his new side, Standard Lien. They lost by three goals to one to Ghent. And then uh, they lost 3 1. He, he was he featured, was not pretty much bad. And then in that same country, Joseph Pencil, the young man who cannot stop scoring, was on target for Genk when they managed to win by three goals. To zero. Pencil is good, and then that's uh, Ghanaians that I have to give you an update on other Ghanaians who are also in action. But uh, these are like Black Stars players that have been in action. And then, uh, as I said, in the in La Liga, in La Liga, Baba Idrisu was in action, but didn't even play 45 minutes, and his coach uh, took him out to play for Almeria. They lost 2 1 to Las Palmas. And then Abdul Moumen, the centre back, at this point where Ghanaian 
players are getting injured, especially our centre backs are getting injured. It would be great to have our centre backs show up. And then he scored his first goal. And if he continues like this, maybe you get a call because he was being part of the Black Stars team. Perhaps hasn't got opportunity to play with a situation where a lot of our players are getting injured, especially the centre backs. Maybe he'll get a chance to play. Other players has been injured. I'm talking about our centre backs. Amate, we don't know he's he, he he's yet to play a game officially. Alexander Djiku, unfortunately, played a game. We understand he has picked up an injury again. Disturbing. But we wish him the best of luck. We wish the other Ghanaian players the best of luck. We're going to follow them very well. The Black Queens are also going to play tomorrow. Uh, that's the second leg of their game against Benin in, in Ghana. We're going to follow that game very well. And anything that comes up, we're going to let you know. As usual, my name is Elijah Frank. Until we meet again, uh, bye bye for now.